Hi traders or should I say Ganophiles because this video is for the GANFAN users in NinjaTrader 8 or those who are thinking about giving the GANFAN toolbox in NinjaTrader 8 a bit of a looking over. First point I want to share is that there's definitely been some great feature upgrades from NinjaTrader 7 to NinjaTrader 8. My favourite of these within the GAN toolbox is the ability to add in extra GAN lines to your GANFAN. Ninja Trader 7 users will definitely know this wasn't a feature of the prior edition and um, boy a few of us were really gagging for it but um, it, it is here, it's available in Ninja Trader 8 and it's definitely a pathway to beef up the sort of GAN protocols you can now employ in your charting. To plump out your GAN fan with more lines simply go into the properties panel of the fan, mouse click here into the properties panel via the apex. From this window, go into the sub-menu GAN Angles and use the Add button here on the left and then configure in the angles on the right panel. Now this whole exercise opens up the topic of when you add additional lines to your GAN fan, do you do it in doubles or Fibonacci proportions? What can I say? I'm a Fibonacci queen. I personally believe Fibonacci sequencing is deeply threaded in the market and when you start to discover and uncover that, what once looked like chaos begins to look quite orderly and geometric and uh, the strongest advice I would have to my fellow trader would be you are doing yourself a disservice not to go and have a good poke around that subject. I've got plenty of share videos on that topic alone so for now let's just leave it that you can add in extra lines to your GAN fan. Now another setting to draw your attention to, have you ever had the experience of your GAN fan applied, you line draw over the fan template and then experience difficulty picking up the line to move it or, or delete it or parallel it. Let's see if I can recreate that here. Okay well a simple fix because this definitely slows you down. Again go into the properties panel, look on the right side here for a sub menu called opacity and drop the um, the input to either 1 or 0 rather than the default and that line draw interference will disappear. The third feature you need to know about the Ninja Trader 8 GAN fan is the templating option. Now say you have a number of different applications of your GAN fan, say on the longer time frames you have flatter lines going on and then say on the 5 minute and 1 minute charts you, you might be using much steeper lines which I know a lot of traders do because um, these speed lines are, are really wonderful for, for trade management. So if you want to create fan types that you'll only use on certain time frames and not mess up other time frames with too many line splays, well well, the templating feature allows you to go in and basically create your own gallery of custom setups. Template saving is done via this button down right, once again in the properties panel of the GANFAN. Customizing the sort of platform you want is really what NinjaTrader 8 is all about, so it's something I, I really deeply encourage. It's a good time to quickly mention one of my own custom applications for the GAN fan in Ninja Trader 8. It's this little speed key on screen panel. It gives me the ability to change points per bar, uh, fan direction, and even record recurring outcomes, um, all without having to mouse click into the properties panel, which, if you're back testing or you're doing a lot of scaling, can be a real convenience and time saver. Check it out if you want to add that as a custom add to your own NinjaTrader 8 GAN toolbox, it's certainly available. For more GAN and Fibonacci videos, check out the other videos in the series or visit the website.